Good morning, everyone. <clears throat> Yeah, hi, and good morning. Am I audible? Yes. Okay. Okay, fine. So, in a study class, uh, we discussed about tables. In yesterday, we have created uh, multiple columns with multiple data types. Okay. And today class also we are going to discuss about tables, uh, like uh, uh, learning about uh, how to how to identify the existing record uh, and uh, uh, how to identify the new record from the table. So what is the uniqueness of the record? And after we have list layout and we have personalization list. What is the difference between both? And after we have insert and insert and stay, the differences between those those options. Okay, so then after we are going to create new table, and uh, so we are going to uh, do about some choice fields. Okay, yes. So I'm going to my first table. Okay, I'm going to my first table. Okay. So, so here you can see there is no not only one column is appearing. That is my first column. Only one column is appearing. That is my first column. I want all the columns uh, available in this table need to up, up, open uh, available here. Okay, in the list view. So here we have one option is personalized list. So you can go to the personalization list. You can bring the columns what are the columns you want into the list view okay right so for example i'm bringing the columns like this okay you can see now the columns should be like this so you can see now all the columns should be visible in the list view i have added uh, all these columns from list view via personalization list via personalization list and from here also we have configure list layout here we have configure list layout so from the configure list layout option by using this option also 
uh, we can able to add the columns to list view. Okay, we can able to add the columns to list view. You can see now I'm saving it. Yes. Now I have added columns to list list view in two ways. I have added columns to list view in two ways. One is personalization list and another one is list layout. So what is the difference between personalization list and list layout by adding up the columns? Okay, yes, we will note down. Personalization list by adding column list layout sorry by adding columns to list by using personalization list only visible to, to you okay by adding columns to list list by using the personalization list columns only visible to you okay guys so for example if i have added columns uh, columns to list view by using the personalization list option those columns only visible to me in the list layout list in the list okay got it by adding columns to list to view we can say list view by adding columns to list view okay by using uh, by using the personalization list columns only visible to you okay next list layout so you can see so i'm copying same sentence By adding columns to list view by using list layout. By using list layout. Columns visible to everyone in our organization. So everybody got it, uh, difference between list layout and personalization list. So for example, if I have added columns to list layout uh, by using the, uh, if I have added uh, a columns by using list layout, it will be applicable to everybody in the organization. Okay, it will be applicable to everybody in the organization. So for example, if I added columns uh, to list view by using personalization list, it will only applicable to me. Okay, it will only applicable to me. Got it, everyone? Yes, sir. Yes. Okay, yes. Uh, so I hope sentence also correct. So if we add columns to list view, right, right. Anji, uh, before you said one sentence, okay. can I say? Yes, you can say. Yeah, when we modify fields, it will affect to you only. Uh, that is called a personalization list. Yes, yes. When uh, yeah, we maybe, modify fields, uh, we yeah, can we can we can note down that sentence. Uh, if yeah. we modify fields, columns in list view, it will affect by to you only personalization list it will affect to you only okay so uh, yes on the list i'm copying it so i'm pasting here uh, if we modify columns in this view by using list layout we affected to all yes list layout it will affect it to all everybody in the organization. Yes. In organization. 
got it everybody yes this sentence is perfect okay guys okay anji yes anji yes please ఫర్ ఎగ్జాంపుల్ ఇప్పుడు మనం డెవ్ లో మనం మాడిఫై చేసాం అనుకుందాం డెవ్ లోనో ప్రీ ప్రాడ్ లోనో ఓకే టెస్టింగ్ లో ఫర్ ఎగ్జాంపుల్ ఓకే ఈ సిచువేషన్ అని కాదు ఏదైనా సరే గ్లోబల్ లో చేంజ్ చేసాం మనం ఓకే ఓకే మనం చేంజ్ చేసినప్పుడు ఆర్గనైజేషన్ మొత్తానికి కనబడతా ఉంటది అవును కదా yes exactly అయితే సో ఇప్పుడు నేను దాని ప్రొడక్షన్ లోకి మూవ్ చేసిన తర్వాత మనం లిస్ట్ వ్యూ లో ఏవైతే మనం ఏవైతే మనం పాపులేట్ చేసి ఉంటాము అంటే ఐ మీన్స్ ఏ ఫీల్డ్స్ అయితే తెచ్చుకొని ఉండి ఉంటాము ఆ ఫీల్డ్స్ ప్రొడక్షన్ లో కూడా సేమ్ విజిబుల్ అవుతాయా yes so once you moved your updates it's to production environment it will applicable in production instance as well and here and here uh, we have to learn one point so for example we have must, my first table okay for example we have my first table so whenever we created a table so by using uh, list layout by using list layout we have configured few columns to list view okay yes, so right. it will it will applicable to every user in the organization okay it will applicable to every user in the organization so for example if ashok opens that list view yeah whatever the columns i added uh, in list layout same columns uh, able to see by ashok same columns able to see by abil tutor same columns able to see by vamsi krishna like that so for example after some time ashok was uh, modified list view uh, ashok was modified columns in a list view by using the personalization list okay? okay so then whatever the columns added by ashok by using the personalization list only those columns will visible to ashok got it okay yes sir no for example yeah. uh, yes we have one table in for that table we have list view in that list view we have added uh, some uh, somebody in the organization added uh, by use, by using list out uh, add configure the columns okay so yes same columns will apply, visible to me same columns will visible to me and when i when i modified the columns in list view by using the personalization list okay here i am configuring my own columns to the list view okay so at that time onwards my personalization personalization list uh, columns will be appear to me okay got it everybody okay. yes sir no everybody got oh, it dr babu sai krishna uh, yes. here i have one question yes please uh while developing the uh, configurations uh, i need to uh, modify the uh, personal through personal list uh, yes. in columns yes, okay uh, 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 will it uh, capture in the update set uh, yeah it will capture we... in update set yes it will capture in update set okay so, we can see in prod also like uh, what we have uh, modified the yes, exactly. yeah through personal yes, exactly. list yeah exactly Okay. okay and here right. you can see guys so as a service now developer as a service now admin so we have full access and these two options uh, these two options are available for us so if we go to the real time for end users this list layout option is not available okay they they are able to uh, modify the columns in list view by using only personalization list in real time okay every end user got it yeah anji anji na question entante ipudu development chese tappudu personalization list dwara manam eyana konjam ante manaku evaithe columns kavala men configure cheskoni form me appear chesam yeah even while while developing something uh, in sub prod environments so if you done with personalization list yes that will applicable to you okay అవి ప్రాడ్ లో కూడా కనిపిస్తాయి అంటే
Uh, I need to risk here. Difference between personalization and established layout. Okay, fine. So, yes, for example, I am opening one record. Here you can see, I am opening one record. What is the society here? What is the society here? Some 32 bit hexadecimal. Okay, some 32 bit hexadecimal number. Okay, for example, I'm trying to open new record here in my first table. What is the society here? Tell me, guys. What is the society here? Minus one. Here society is minus one. Here society is so some 32 bit hexadecimal number. Okay. So how to identify whether you open new record or existing record? If the society of that record is minus one, that is a new record. If the society of the uh, record is some 32 bit hexadecimal number, that is an existing record. Got it, everybody? Yes or no? Yes, sir. If society is minus one, that is a new record. If society uh, contains some 32 bit hexadecimal number, that is a existing record. Okay. Okay. Yes. I will note down this point as well. So, if sys id of record is minus one, if sys id is minus one, it, it is a new record. If sys id is that if sys id is 32 bit exa hexadecimal number number it is a existing record got it guys everybody if sys id is minus 1 it is a new record if sys id is 32 bit hexadecimal number it is a existing record okay yes and we can note down uh, some example for 32 bit hexadecimal number yes you can note down uh, yes for example i'm copying this society and i'm pasting here you can see uh, this uh, this string length is 32 bit hexadecimal number guys hexadecimal number means it starts with zero and it ends with f okay hexadecimal numbers starts with zero and ends with f for example so if we go to the number system if we go to the number system we have decimal decimal values we have hexadecimal values uh, we have octadecimal okay we have this many number uh, this many uh, types of number systems are there okay maybe uh, you maybe in your uh, in your education so if if you have uh, number methodology or number technology concept then you have idea about this okay yes for example hexadecimal numbers are like this 1 0 1 2 3 4 5 6 Seven, eight, nine, then A, B, A, wait, A, B, C, D, E, E, F. Okay. So this string, we are saying this is a hexadecimal number and it contains the mixer, mixer of all these, uh, all these values. Okay. Got it? Yes or no? So you can say one one four three one B B E five. Okay, got it, everybody. Yes, These sorry. are the hexadecimal numbers. Yes, everybody got it. And so he, here you can see society is a this side is a unique queue 
unique view of each record in a service now understand okay so sys id will treat is a unique uh, unique id of each record in a service now understand sys id is a unique id of unique id of each record in a service now understands got it guys yes or no so basically in service now we are storing everything with the, within the tables only within the tables and columns format only okay so how to identify the uniqueness of the each and every record in the service now understands we'll identify by using the sys id got it every record every record in our service now instance maintains the unique sys id okay uh, even one table record sys id will not match with other record uh, other record other tables record got it what i am saying sys id is a unique id for each and every record okay for example you are using 100 tables for a, for example we, with each table you are using 100 records that 100 tables contains the different sys id is 100 records in each and every table contains the different sys id got it and it will be helpful in the background only okay it will helpful in the background only so if you want to make uniqueness of uh, records in the uh, front end we have number field we will discuss later okay we'll discuss later that one everybody got it uh, about sys id any queries yes. here yes you got it okay fine next uh, so I'm going to my first table. I will try to create few columns here. Okay. Uh, I'm going to do configure form layout. First of all, I, I'm going to remove all the columns. I don't want all these columns now. Okay. So I'm removing it. So I will kill you. I will, uh, sorry, I will create a columns uh, with proper names here for your under, better understanding purpose. Okay. Uh, name, I'm uh, sorry here. Column name should be like name string uh, email string mobile string manager manager reference so what is the reference table for manager guys tell me what is the table you have to use user uh, as a reference Yes, user. User underscore user. Guys, in real time, in real time also, uh, sometimes the client will not provide the proper details. Like for example, they will simply uh, set manager. They don't give what table we have to use as a reference. Okay. We have to analysis that, that part. Okay. For example, the user said one column name should be location. What is the reference table we have to take for that location field? CMN, CMN underscore, underscore location. location. Okay. We have to analyze our own self. Okay. We have to analyze ourself. Okay. By practice, you will get to know that one. Okay. By, 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 by practicing, you will get all these things. Uh, this, uh, this kind of identifications. For example, I have created these fields. I have created these fields. Right. Yes, I'm closing it. So, for example, I'm trying to create a few records. And one more thing is, so I, I'm going to delete a existing records in a list view. Existing records in a list view. Okay. Uh, for your understanding purpose, I'm deleting. So, you can see how to delete a records in the list view. So, you can select whatever the records you are planning to delete. And here we have delete. Yes, you can click on delete. It will ask for the confirmation and it will delete the data. Okay. Yes. Delete the selected records. Delete. Yes, deleting it. So, um, now I'm going to configure. Now I'm going to configure my required fields. Okay. Name, uh, mobile, manager, email. I'm bringing all these fields to this side. And remaining all fields, I'm moving to available slash budget. Yes. 
name I will um, yeah, email mobile manager. Okay. Guys, you can see now I have added columns to list view by using the personalization list. Is it applicable to other users? No. No, it will not applicable to other users. It is only applicable to me. Okay. Yes. Now I'm going to create few records here. Anji. Uh, maybe I'm saying Anji. The rate of gmail.com. So nine six four zero three seven four six double one manager. Maybe I'm saying I will do it up. Okay. So I'm saving it. Yes. I, I have saved one record. Wait. Invalid update record has been deleted. It's okay, fine. You can come and refresh here. Wait, wait. No, that record was deleted, so that's why it is not updated. Again, I'm going to create a record. Anji. Anji at the rate of gmail.com. Next. 9640374671. My manager is Abil Total, for example. Okay. My manager is Abil Total. And here, I'm saving the record. Yes, I have successfully saved the record. Here, I'm coming to my first table. You can see. The record should be like this. Record showing like this. So, for example, I want to create a, another another record with some other name. Maybe Rama. Maybe Rama. So, manager details and mobile number are same, for example, for this user also. Okay. So, I I'm planning to modify only name and email. Okay. And here, what I'm doing, insert. Here, I'm planning to do the insert. What do you mean by the insert option? Insert, create a copy of the current record with any modified values. Insert, create a copy of the current record with any modified values. Got it, everybody? In interviews, they will ask the difference between insert and insert and stay options. Okay, so here we are creating a duplicate copy of the existing record with modified values. Yes or no? Yes, now I'm clicking on insert. Yes, you can see. Now you can come and refresh. One new record is created with Rama. Created or not with the same uh, from the existing record. Tell me guys. Yes, it is created a new record by using insert option. You will can note down. Create a copy of the current record with any modified values. Insert. So create a copy of current record with modified values. Okay, guys, got it. What, what is insert option? Got it. Next, insert and stay. So, what do you mean by this one? Create a copy of current record with modified values and Redirect to redirect to newly created record. Okay, and it will redirect to and it will redirect to previous page. Got it? The difference between insert and insert and stay options. Yes. Now I'm going to use insert and stay option. For example, uh, one minute, I'm refreshing this. Yes, here I'm saying 1C. Okay. So maybe I'm simply changing the 1C. Okay. Here I'm doing insert and stay. You can see what happens. Yes, it is created a new record and it is redirected to new record. Okay, you can see the three records are there. Yes or no? Any queries with uh, this insert and insert and stay options? 
No, but in insert also we we were in the same record. Is it? No. If you if you do the insert option, if you do the insert option, so that will create a duplicate copy of the current record with modified values, and it will redirect to the previous page. Okay. No, it will never go to the uh, newly created record if it is insert. The okay. Sorry, no, SysID will not say so. In service now, never match one record SysID with another record, whatever the table. Okay, okay. it will never match the SysID with one record SysID with another record. Okay, guys. Uh, uh, Anji, can you show uh, us Anji? the uh, SysID of these records okay. newly created? Yes, yes, wait. I'm closing this. First record I am opening Rama, second record I am opening Vamsi, third record I am opening Anji. So here you can see, SysID ends with CBB5, okay? Yes, if you come to the Vamsi, this record is ends with C, uh, sorry, BC, BC8. If you come to this record, SysID ends with something like uh, BC, BF0. Is Society is same for each and every record? No, definitely it is different. Okay. Got it? Yes, got it. Yes. In service now, society of one record never match with society of another record, whatever the table it is. Okay. Within the same table or within the other table also. Never match one, one record society with another record. In service now. Okay, you can remember this point. Okay, guys, got it? Yes, sir. Yes. For example, for example, for this table, for this my first table, I want to. So, as of now, you have seen some instant table, some problem table, change table. Every table contains some auto generator number. SR. Every table contains some auto generator number. How to create this auto generator number? Yes. You can go to the configure, configure table for creating the auto generator number. You can go to configure table. Yes. It's loading. Yes. Once you come to the configure table form, you can go to the controls. You can go to the controls and you can select auto number two. You can select auto number two. So here I'm saying MFT, my first table prefix. Okay. And I'm updating it. So you can see. Wait. So basically, now we have added the auto generator number. Now we have added the auto generator number. Before adding auto generator number, it's already have few records. Okay, it's already have few records. For those records, it will not auto generate a number as of now. Okay, so from next record onwards, it will create an auto generator number. You can say, I'm going to click on new, it will give you the auto generator number. I'm refreshing, it will give you the auto generator number. Refreshing, it will uh, review, uh, will refreshes the auto generator number. Got it, everyone? So we are saying society is a unique uniqueness of each and every record in service now. It is only in backend. Okay, in backend. So front end, front end, the uniqueness of a record is number. Got it? The uniqueness of record is number. Yes or no? Yes, sir. Okay. So basically, you have created one ticket. You have created one ticket. You want to identify the uniqueness of that record. This number field will give you the that record details. Got it? Why? Because of societies. Uh, society of each and every record we will use in back end only. Okay. 
will not uh, use uh, those societies for tracking purpose in the real time. We will never use. Okay. Only our service node developers uh, will use that societies in real time. Okay. So for every end user will go with the number field only. Yes or no? Yes. Okay. And so, yes, we have created a number field where it's stored, where this number uh, number uh, field, where, from where this auto generated number was created. And we, as of now, we have created configure table. From, from configure table, we have created auto generated number. We have another way to create auto generated number. You can come to our, here you can type number maintenance. Under system definition, we have number maintenance. And note down with this under system definition. We have number maintenance. Okay, number maintenance table name is so what is the table name for number maintenance? So I can come here and you can see sys underscore number. This is the table name for auto generator numbers. Okay, this is the table number for uh, making the auto generator number. Got it? Yes or no? Yes. For example, here you can see uh, our auto generator number uh, reaches up to one double zero five ends with one double zero five. Yes or no? I want to reset this auto generated number for my first table. I want to reset this auto generated for number for my first table. Yes. You can come here. You can go to every record. So you can see this MFT my first table record is there. You can open this uh, this record in the number maintenance, and you can go to the show counter. You can go to the show counter. Here it is one double zero five. Okay, you can simply change two thousand. Okay, one double zero five, right? Then you can uh, change it to all zeros. One next all zeros and update it. Now you can see from from next time onwards again it's starting with uh, one zero one ends with one two three like that. Got it, everybody? How to change a counter of auto generator number? How to reset a counter of auto generator number? Listen. Okay, fine. So, if you want to create auto generator number, there are two ways by navigating to configure table under controls. We have auto auto number true. Then it will automatic auto number true. It will automatically create auto generator number. Otherwise, you have to go for under system definition number maintenance table. So, in the number maintenance table, we have to create a auto generator number. Okay, got it. Yes or no? So even here you can see we have mentioned prefix. We want prefix like MFT. What is the number number of digits? How many how many digits you want uh, in the auto generator number? Seven digits. That's what it contains. Seven digits. You can see after MFT these, these are the seven digits. Uh, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Okay. I have deleted seven seven. Uh, uh, numbers here after MFT. Okay, so yes, you, we have to mention here. For example, uh, you want only four numbers after MFT. Yes, you can keep four here. For example, I'm changing this one, and you can come and uh, see here. So changed or not the count. So you can see numbers count is changed or not. So one, two, three, four, four only. Five. One minute. This four is one, two, three, four, five. Okay. So maybe minimum it, it took the minimum it took the five. And here you can see if you want to change this sequence also. Yes, we can change. For example, I'm saying hundred, hundred, and here I have given four. Now it's perfect. You can see how if we if we refresh this record, so you can see how it looks like. Okay, and 
uh, in the counter also i'm trying to change here uh, instead of 1006 i will say 100 thousand okay four digits now you can come and refresh here so you can see now onwards it is showing only four characters of mft say so everything we can able to configure from this number maintenance got it yes or no everything we can able to configure from this number maintenance about that auto generator number okay guys hello okay okay yes, yes. yes please and meanwhile uh, somebody joined newly today that is vikram so may I know so are you new joining vikram yes ashok you can go ahead with your query okay so you put on one okay record to open jason tarvata mm -hmm. uh, open jason tarvata and number number is the mark on if you if you if you save the record it will not change okay if you are not changing the record got it Asho, what i am saying yes if we save the record that number will save for that record if you are not saving the record and you are refreshing the page it is generating the new new number okay right okay uh one doubt okay in real time what will be the length of this number yeah they will keep uh, they will go with the default only seven seven okay yeah. in okay fine yes okay uh yes vikram you can go ahead so are you new joining today i'm sorry so i think we're talking on yes vikram tell me yeah i i have joined for the first time today okay um, i just came across the link on linkedin so yeah okay yeah okay vikram then so if you are new joining and planning to continue the classes so please share your details to my mail id okay so my mail id should be service now training okay 2018 at the rate of gmail account i'm sending you in the zoom chat okay okay what details i need to share uh so you have to send your name your email id your mobile number okay okay, okay. Yeah. You, you can send then then only you are able to get the class recorded video and daily class notes okay sure sure thank you. yeah okay fine you can note down this mail id and uh, you can send it oh. okay guys yes thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. yes please if I using the insert and stay option, so mm -hmm. the number will be changed or not? Definitely will change. I will show you. Okay. Yeah, I will. Yeah. I will. Yeah, I will show you also. One minute. Uh, again, I'm closing all the tabs. Uh, yes, I'm. Uh, one minute. I'm going to my first table again. Uh, I'm going to my first table. So for your understanding purpose, I'm deleting these three records. Okay. Yes. Because of these three records don't have these three records don't have number auto generator number. Now I am adding auto generator number in the list for your understanding purpose. Okay. Yes. I'm saying okay. Now I have five weeks in the list view. Now you can see first of all, I'm creating one record. Maybe in the form also, I will try to add uh, this number field uh, in the first, okay, number. Okay, I will try to use some script also. You can see where it is script. Okay, guys, yes. Here I am not using begin script and end script. It is not recommended basically it's not like it is not required here okay if you want to add yes you can add like this otherwise it's it's okay even if you are not added begin split and end split and i'm saying you can see perfect okay so our record number is that one now i'm saying anji 
email is anji at the rate of one two three okay mobile number like one two three four five six seven eight nine zero so i'm saying i will go to manage this i'm saving it okay yes i have saved this record now you can go to the list view of my first table and you can see whether this record is saved or not yes it is saved you are seeing like this and instead of anji i'm i'm changing the name to mc i'm doing the insert option you can see guys everybody can see now i changed the name to mc i'm doing the insert so you can see what happened it went to the previous page yes or no yes or no before opening uh, that um, number maintenance form we are in the this 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 page okay that's why it, it redirects to the previous page got it everybody what i'm saying yes or no yes okay then you can come here and you can see his number is difference or not we have different or not number previous record is three it is four okay now for example i am opening the this four record only now here i am changing or show something like this ashok i am doing in certain state now you can see it come to newly recorded newly created record yes it is created new record and it came to newly created record okay yes sir no. you can see got it guys everybody yeah. yes okay fine mm. next what i said i did one, i said one point this auto generator number is the uniqueness of each and every record in a table i said this point yes or no yes this is a number is a uniqueness of each and every record but here you can see i'm doing something wrong for example what i'm saying here i'm editing this number auto generator number and i'm keeping it is five what happening here you can see so we have uniqueness in the each and every record in this table here no no definitely not for example if you want to make uh, this number field unique if you want to make this number field unique yes we have one unique option we have one unique option first of all i'm going to the one minute I, I will open this i'm going to the configuration dictionary of number okay and, and, and under, under number field i have right click on configuration dictionary yes you can click on configuration dictionary yes so here we have to add one property that is unique to again uh, in this dictionary form i'm going to the configure form layout in the dictionary form i'm going to the configure form layout okay guys how i am doing this configuration form out uh, configuration dictionary and all so okay you can keep remember how i am going again i will try to show you show you what, what the navigation i did here okay so i went to this table i opened some record so i have right click on the number field i went to the configuration dictionary here here we have to see one option called uniqueue that option is not available so i'm configuring that uniqueue option by using the form layout of configuration dictionary form got it form layout of configuration dictionary form i'm going now yes somewhere in the available search bucket you are able to see some uniqueue yes you can see we have uniqueue i'm moving this uniqueue yes i want here only after text index okay i have added this unique field from available slash bucket to selected slash bucket i'm saving it okay yes here you can see unique now for this number field i'm keeping unique and i'm trying to save it will not allow you to save this record you can see you can also see the reason wait yes it thrown an error what is the error you can see new unique index skip 
requested column contains a duplicate values. You must remove duplicate values and then try again. Okay. So this number field contains duplicate values in a table. Yes or no? This number field contains duplicate values or not? Yes, it contains duplicate values. Now I'm going to modifying the duplicate values. Mm, maybe three. Okay. Uh, now there is no duplicate values in the number field. Yes or no? Now there is no duplicate values in the number field. Okay. Okay, guys. Now I'm going to modify. I'm now I'm keeping unity true. This time we will not get any error. Okay, it will automatically update this dictionary entry. Wow. Yes. Perfect. Okay. Unicute. We made unicute true. From now onwards, from now onwards, it will not allow you to, it will not allow you duplicate values into this number field. It will not allow you duplicate values into this number field. Got it, everybody? Yes or no? Yes. Okay, fine. Now you can see, for example, I'm trying to, even in the, maybe uh, now I'm from the, this form you I'm trying to modify to three. It's already there. This number is already there or not? Yes, here it is already there. Now I'm trying to update the record. Update the record. You can see what is happening. What it is saying invalid update. Why? What is the reason? Unique key violation detected by database. Okay, this number is already exist. It is saying okay, invalid update. It will not update the record. If you refresh this form, it will show previous record number only. Okay, previous number only. Okay, guys, got it this point? Yes. 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 Okay, fine. Uh, next. Wait for one minute. Uh, so next you can see. Yes, we are also done with the uniqueness of uh, this number field and all. Next, I want to keep this number read only, for example. I want to keep this number field read only. I want to keep this email field mandatory. Okay, for example, how to keep mandatory and read only of these fields? How to keep mandatory and read only of these fields? If you go to the instant form, so you have some mandatory fields like short description is mandatory color is mandatory if you go to the another uh, tables maybe you have seen number field is read only yes or no how to make uh, these fields mandatory or read only yes if you want to make field read only or mandatory you can right click on any field you can go to the configuration dictionary okay here we have options like read only I want this number field read only. I'm keeping read only true. Okay. I'm updating it. Now you can see. Now the number field is read only. Yes or no? Now the number field is read only. Okay, guys. We cannot edit. We cannot edit to this number field. From here, we cannot edit. Even from here also, we cannot edit. You can see. I'm trying to edit this number field. It will throw you some error. Security prevents writing to this field. Got it? What is read on, how to make read only of a field? Yes. Okay. Next. For example, I want to make uh, email mandatory. For example, I want to make email mandatory. I'm going to the configuration dictionary of email mandatory, email field. Yes. So for this email, I want mandatory. Yes. I'm keeping mandatory true. Okay. I'm keeping mandatory true. And I'm updating it. And we have other options display and all we'll discuss later. Okay. Yes. Uh, now I'm going to the some existing record. You can see some asterisk icon should be added to email. Yes or no? Some asterisk icon should be added to email. Okay, guys. Yes. Uh, now tell me, I will, I will ask one question guys here. So I made Unicute true for the number field. I made read only true for the number field. 
where all this configuration store in which table all this configuration store tell me guys if we configure columns where those columns configuration things will store sys underscore dictionary exactly exactly sys underscore dictionary table sys underscore dictionary table for example here the label is number here the label is number okay i want to change this label number to application id okay i'm planning to change this label number to application id if we change this label where this label information uh, store in which table this label information will store tell me for example now I'm saying, label information right no no tell me the table name so for example you can see i'm going to the number i'm planning to change this uh, number configuration la label i'm going to the configure label okay right it's loading now i'm changing it to application id and i'm updating it now tell me so this mod this label modification uh, where this label mo uh, label modification configured in which table we have configured sys underscore dictionary obviously no it's not sys underscore dictionary it is a sys underscore documentation sys underscore documentation table stores the label information of each and every column okay label information of each and every column okay guys got it okay yes and for today class uh, i'm going to stop here and we have almost uh, 24 minutes time okay uh, we will discuss about the concepts I already completed. Okay, I will ask you some questions. So, whatever the answer uh, you have in your mind, so please let us know. Okay, D don't sit uh, idle or silent when I ask the question. Okay, yes. Uh, so, I will ask the questions randomly. You can, you can, if you know the answer, you can tell me. Okay. So, I will ask the questions from the concepts till I have completed. Okay. Yes. What is service now? Tell me guys, what is service now? If you have answers, so please tell us. Even if you don't know the answer, if you have notebook, so at least by seeing that notebook also you can see the definite uh, uh, say you can say the answers for the questions okay service now is an integrated cloud solution which combines all the services in a single single record okay yes yeah okay fine that's fine that definition is good and next what are the versions in service now What are the versions in service now? TA to Z, like Aspen, Berlin, Calgary. Okay. okay. Uh, Eureka, uh, do, uh, you, okay. You can say in alphabet order, like A for Aspen, B for Berlin. Like that you can say. Then you will not miss any version in between. Okay. Okay, A for uh, Aspen, B for Berlin, C for Calgary, uh, D for uh, uh, Dublin, E for Ireka, F for uh, Fuji, G for Geneva, F G H for uh, Helsinki, yes, I for uh, uh, Istanbul, yeah. yes. Okay, J for Jakarta, K for Kingston, L for London. M okay. for uh, Ma uh, Madrid. Okay. N for uh, New York. Mm -hmm. O for Orlando. Okay. P for Paris. Okay. Q for uh, Quebec. Ah, okay. R for Rome. Okay. S for 
sorry sandiago <laughs> yeah yeah uh, yes for sandiago okay yes t for tokyo okay st u for uh, yeah and now currently uh, that version is uh, updated yes the latest version of service now is yota yota latest version of service now is yota yota okay fine what are the modules in service now uh itsm itam itom mm -hmm. um itbm mm -hmm. and uh, yeah itsm modules uh, we have okay uh, yes yeah. yes yes tell me yeah like uh, ids or modules like uh, incident uh, incident management problem management yeah we don't management. require the in depth okay okay uh, i will ask those in next questions okay, <laughs> okay. yes uh, some others uh, so please tell me what are the modules only yank babu uh, answering for multiple questions uh, it's uh, it bm okay and g grc um mm -hmm. security like c csm okay yeah mm -hmm. okay fine ITV. guys yeah it yes guys everybody need to respond okay for today so if you don't know the answer at least by watching the notes you can say the answer from tomorrow onwards you can try you can try and you can plan to answer without seeing the notebook everybody has to respond here okay only uh, maybe ashok or rank bob it's not like that everybody has to uh, interact okay it's kind of interactive section this 20 minutes okay yes what is itsm stands for information technology, technology service management perfect information technology service, service management. management service management yes next what is the definition of itsm nalla ramesh i think you are saying something but we are not able to hear you if you are saying something yes what is the definition of itsm somebody tell me ravi ram itsm is information technology service management it follows itil guidelines so okay. itil is a infrastructure information technology okay. infrastructure library okay it refers to yes. all management and business modules of it okay yes uh yes ramesh you are perfect but uh you are saying definition to speed don't say you can think you are in in, uh, in front of interview panel you can say your answer slowly don't go that much fast okay you can repeat uh, your definition again uh, you can say slowly itsm is a information technology service management itsm will follow the itil guidelines itil is nothing but information technology infrastructure library mm -hmm. itsm okay. refers to all management aspects of business including of it assets mm -hmm. planning support delivery Mm-hmm. Uh, okay. Perfect. Yes. Next. What are the applications uh, we have with in uh, ITSM? Uh, applications like incident management, problem management, change management, mm -hmm. uh, knowledge management, service catalog, mm -hmm. configuration management, and asset management okay yes next what is incident incident is uh, an unplanned interruption to to the it service okay. and it may also cause the reduction in the quality okay that that yeah and the failure of the configuration item uh that has not yet impacted on IT services. 
Yes, you can repeat uh, your answer once, Krishna again. Yes, yeah. you are correct, but you can repeat. Yeah, it's an unplanned interruption uh, to the IT services or, or the reduction of the quality. Um, okay. And the configuration item of the failure failure of the uh, configuration item that has not yet impacted on IT service. Yeah, if it possible, you can repeat one more time. Yeah, uh, incident is an unplanned interruption to the IT services. Okay. And the failure of the configuration item that has not impacted yet on the IT services. Okay. Incident is the unplanned interruption to IT service. Quality of reduction in IT service. Failure of SCI, which has not yet impacted on IT service. Okay. Yes, guys. So here I have to say one point. So if some question is in interview, if you get some question from the interview panel, okay. So you have to you have to say that uh, definition of uh, the question he asked. Then immediately you have to go for the one example. You don't close, uh, I mean, you don't uh, uh, say only definition of that. Whatever the question it is, you can make some examples. Okay. Yes. Yes. Somebody tell me a few examples of incident. Uh, yeah, I can say. Yes. Uh, you can for say, a... uh, yes, yes, first tell me. Yes. Yeah. Uh... So while using our uh, desktop or laptop, uh, uh, we have suddenly facing some issues like uh, uh, we can't be able to access the network or uh, sometimes we are not able to turn on our desktop, uh, desktop or laptop. That is the unexpected interruption uh, uh, in our business side. Uh, that is called the incident. Okay. Okay. Yes, somebody tell me a few more examples. Like the printer isn't working when we when we try to. Okay. And okay. one more example. Also, sometimes we are not able to getting emails. Uh, that is also the yes. issue. Yeah. Yes. Uh, guys, everybody, tell me one new incident example. Yes. I I want more examples from you for the incident. Uh, uh, sir, uh, this also can be incident. Uh, I mean, uh, if suppose any application that we are working, uh, any button is not working. Yeah, that is also incident. Okay. Yeah. That is kind of uh, related to hardware. Related yeah, to. whatever it may be. So whatever it yeah. is related to. That is, if, 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 if you get something not working, so if you feel something is not working fine, that is an incident. Whatever it may be. Okay. Yeah, re real-time uh, incident also. If we are uh, uh, working some client, uh, suddenly we are not able to turn on our yes. laptop. That day also, entire day, we <laughs> have to keep live. Yeah, <laughs> so uh, here one example, guys. So I think two days back, uh, I hope, uh, my laptop passport and... <laughs> my instance password both are trying to expire okay so okay. at that time i was in travel maybe the saturday i was in traveling in saturday and sunday on sunday i have changed my laptop password perfect there is no issues but on sunday evening itself i'm trying to change my instance password it was expired it was expired. Immediately, I will call. I call to the customer care, and I discussed about my issue. Okay, saying that my password is expired, I am not able to log in into the client environment. Okay, immediately they have raised one incident on behalf of me. Okay, and they res uh, they reset the password of my accounts my client accounts okay got it so this is also an incident got it yes sanjay okay fine so uh so yes i want uh, so yes 
till now we have received few examples for incidents yes now tell me few examples for service now issues service now related issues i want some instant examples with service now issues yes tell me uh, service now issues like uh, while creating the uh, user information sometimes user information will be missing like uh, uh, uh email uh, address missing like um, sometimes uh, mm -hmm. uh, created duplicate records uh, okay. that is uh, you that mean is, uh, uh, yes ank babu you mean so we have uh, two duplicate uh, user records for the anka babu okay yes that is yes, yes that is incident yes like that tell me your issues one or two uh, service now related issues tell me okay yes please an analyze and you can tell me so you, you, till now we have learned uh, many applications like instant problem change you have learned so maybe you will identify you will identify yeah. so what yeah while, while taking the uh, training uh, before uh, we have already see like uh, we have a uh, we have created our uh, table but uh, okay. that is not reflected in the our uh, uh, navigation part that yeah, is exactly. also that, that is, is also one incident. incident yes that yeah. is incident okay yes like this you have any uh, more examples with service now issues yes only few members are talking in the class in service now but, yeah yes right in service now uh, uh, configure user configure user interface configuration uh, time zone is not reflected ist yes that is one in uh, one incident okay next yes if any yes sai krishna rahul abhumesh ajay chakradar yes a uh, guys uh, in interviews for example if one interview is scheduled for you okay maybe they will schedule uh, interview for one hour or half an hour okay so if your answers are short if your answers are short like for example they asked what is instant you simply said instant definition immediately they will go for the next example next question okay like that you will get many questions like that you will get many questions maybe within half an hour maybe they 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 have asked 20 questions okay uh, like uh, question answer question answer if if we said like that so for example along with your answer if you explain one example if they have planning to ask 20 questions for you maybe because of no time for them they will ask only 15 questions got it what, what what i'm saying if the interviewer asked any question to you you have to explain uh, first of all you have to give explanation for that and you have to say that some examples for that got it what i'm saying yes yes sanji okay. uh, based uh, upon based upon you providing the some examples for that topic uh, interview panel got some pause to pause to uh, note on uh, your profile. If we are saying some examples for each and every question, they will treat yes, he is real and he has worked with he he is really worked with this particular application. He is really worked with this particular concept. Okay, they, they will understand like that and. So, based upon ex uh, saying the examples for the questions in interviews, you will also reduce the interviewer's times. Okay, interviewer times duration you will also reduce the interviewer's duration. If you are saying uh, explanation of that question, uh, explanation explanation for that question and answer. So, if the interviewer are planning to ask twenty questions with the, with your examples and explanations maybe he will get only uh, he will get chance to only ask for 
may be 15 questions got it what i am saying here uh, Please yes, understand that you can uh, now onwards you can try to prepare like this okay Wh whatever it is you are preparing you have to say with the example yes yes and uh, you also taken more candidates uh, from your organization for your organization no i didn't get you uncle babu yeah, I know, Anji, you also uh, taken more candidates uh, for your organization as yes, your interviewer. Yes, obviously. Yeah, you yes. got a uh, good, uh, good credit also uh, from your organization. I saw your uh, like appreciation mail. Uh, you posted uh, in previous uh, days like uh, through WhatsApp. Yeah, am I right? Oh my God. It's okay. It's up to my personal. Okay. So we are in class now. Okay. So yeah. I, what I am, I am trying to say like, uh, uh, interview yeah, I, 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 I got I, it, uh, Uncle Babu. So it's our personal, right? Uh, so I'm not interested to discuss here. Okay. All those things. Okay. Here, whatever I want to talk, it should be helpful for you. Okay. And we have five more minutes. I just wanted to know, I'm stopping questioning section here. I just wanted to know how you are preparing daily. How you guys are preparing daily. Yes, please tell me how your preparation is going on. So if everybody uh, track with everyday class or if, if anybody have, uh, your preparation is pending. Yes, Karnakar, how you are preparing? Yeah, I'm not preparing well as of now. Daily, day by day class was pending, pending, pending. Okay. Mm -hmm. So here I will tell you one point clearly. Guys, okay. if you are attending the classes without preparation, if you are attending the classes without preparation, it's your money waste. It's your time waste. Okay. Yes. Why I am saying your time best? So you have to spend uh, the same amount of time after some time, right? Yes. So along with daily classes, if you prepare, so at that time, if you have any queries, maybe there may be a chance of asking questions uh, in the trainer, uh, to the trainer. Okay. He will resolve your questions in the next day. So, if you are preparing late, if you are, if, if, if your preparation is very late, then uh, upcoming concepts, maybe it's like now we are discuss, now we are uh, discussing only 10%, uh, for example. Next day we have 12%, next day 14%. Like that we will go, we'll go, we'll move on the classes. Okay. So, so please don't postpone your preparation. Okay. What, even if we have busy schedule, even we have some health issues, even we have some emergency, at least please spend two hours time every day for service now. Okay, before you go to sleep. Okay, guys. Yes, Karnakar, please try to prepare every day without fail. So then, sure. then at the end of the training, then at the end of the training, you are able to get job. Then at the end of the uh, training section, you will get the job mostly. And at the end of the training, mostly you will get the conference. I'm able to get the job. That kind of confidence you will get. Okay. If you are not preparing now, so you will not get that conference. We will not give that conference. Okay. Okay. So if anybody tell me how we are prepared, if anybody preparing uh, daily classes regularly. Yes. Uh, yes, guys. Yes, somebody respond. Uh, so please, uh, Rahul, Sai Kumar, Sangeeta, Vamsi Krishna, Sai Krishna, Ravi. Yes, everybody please respond. Okay, is everybody uh, maintaining the notes? 
is everybody maintaining the notes and everybody copy pasting the content to one more document yes yes please do that please do that okay uh, by at least by uh, by uh, doing that kind of work some revision will happen to you. some revision of uh, those definitions are will happen to you okay it will helpful for you definitely okay uh, yes and sai how you are preparing uh, daily classes ajay naresh it's okay even uh, yes karunakar already said uh, truly he said that's fine no problem okay yes even if you are not preparing please start preparing okay so i would i will definitely tell you guys so it's almost i have completed this is the 18th batch i'm teaching for a, for every year i will teach only four batches so i have seen many candidates so they got job within three days they got job within one week Anji, got... yes so uh, uh, will you create whatsapp group for our batch no will not uh, create any whatsapp group for you as of now okay maybe in future if i feel it is required i will definitely do it okay uh, may it would be better for uh, create the whatsapp group uh... Uh, so may i know uh, why whatsapp group is required for this uh, like uh, sharing the knowledge like uh, if i have uh, any doubt um, yes that for that need, yeah. for that for that here we have daily interaction sections from 7 to 7 20 am okay i feel that is enough so still if it is required definitely i will do okay like uh, in resume preparation like uh, yes yes uh, sir, everything sir. everything we will explain in the class still yeah, some someone uh, someone uh, go to interviews uh, those days and uh, yes, they yes. come back to classes yes. and uh, uh they will um, share their uh, uh, their experience uh, uh, yes sanka babu so i have some uh, problems with whatsapp groups okay mm -hmm. so maybe we'll discuss offline okay 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 sorry. yeah uh, yes guys it's uh, already taken two minutes late uh, so uh, thank you for today class uh, thank you for patience uh, from 7 to 7 20 am you have listened uh, other than uh, technical part okay i'm so thankful to you so if you have any queries at any time please call me on my mobile or please ping me in whatsapp if i am not responded don't think negative i will definitely respond in my free time okay yes don't postpone your preparation so please do every day you are already planning for planning for the training so please maintain at least two hours or one hour per day before you went to sleep. Okay, guys. Yes. Thanks, Sanjay. Yeah, thank you. Thank you so much. Thank you so much. Yeah. Have a good day. Good day, all. Thank you.